Ana is the story of a young girl forced to migrate from Central America. While this comic book, sponsored by the nonprofit group Save the Children, tells a fictional tale of a young migrant child and her mother, Ana's experiences, like running away from gang violence or joining a migrant caravan, reflect a vivid reality endured by thousands of children every year. Speaking to Al Jazeera through a social worker, seven-year-old Ivani recalls a hauntingly similar experience that forced her and her mother to flee domestic violence in her home country of Honduras, leaving everything and everyone they knew behind. One time, my father was drinking at home and he hit my mother with a beer bottle and it cut her here. Okay. Ivani tells us she felt fear as she and her mother traveled through Mexico during cold, dark nights. Her story is reminiscent of a scene in the comic book where Ana and her mother climb aboard a freight train along with dozens of other Central American migrants. They may be illustrations, but these pages accurately depict the many dangers migrant children face when making the life or death journey toward the U.S. southern border. Humanitarian workers from Save the Children say they hope the message laid out in comic book form will reach people who are unaware of the plight of young asylum seekers living in Mexico. We hope the comic book brings visibility to the needs of migrant children and to the entire process of migration. We hope it makes people more empathetic because these are stories that are not easy to tell. But through this comic book, which is based on real stories, maybe we can affect a change. Representatives from Save the Children are caring for more than 400 underage migrants at this shelter alone. Though this is only one of many safe spaces for children sponsored by the organization near Mexico's border with the United States. Children's rights groups estimate that one out of every three migrants that come to Mexico from Central America are children and teenagers. The vast majority from countries like Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador. Humanitarian workers say migrant children continue to arrive here every day. And due to border restrictions linked to the pandemic, many are finding themselves stuck in Mexico, stretching the limits of the services humanitarian organizations are able to offer. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Tijuana, Mexico.